Major construction areas involved in the Homestake program are spread out over a 120 mile area. And we're going to go airborne for an aerial visit to some of the points of interest. Here's a vertical look at the collection system from which water is diverted through Missouri Tunnel into Homestake Reservoir. That little pipeline winding through those 100 foot high trees is six and a half feet in diameter. And we have some other pipe down there that's eight feet in diameter. There's the $340,000 road which pioneered this big project. It's a beautiful drive and someday will be open to the public. We're now over East Homestake. The diversion is separate from the other water sources. And incidentally, that's a beauty spot, but difficult to reach either by vehicle or on foot. The upstream portal of the four and a quarter million dollar Homestake tunnel, which is five and a half miles long, is near that red trailer. Below is the quarry area and the portal of Missouri Tunnel. A flickering fire and a moving truck are evidence that the huge task is continuing despite the advent of frigid temperatures which mark the pre-sundown moments. Back on the other side of Homestake Mountain, we're getting a glimpse of the downstream portal of Homestake Tunnel, which was bored by the Smith Quad Construction Company, and the Frying Pan Arkansas Tunnel portal on the opposite side of the creek. Now for a quick ride down the Arkansas Valley. First, over the diversion dam near Otero Reservoir, or Clear Creek Lake. And on towards Buena Vista, on the route of the 66-inch pipeline. Pipeliners moved rocks varying in size from the size of your fist to the proportions of a big house as the route paralleled the rocky river bottom. The pipeline heads east from the river and up through a bluff where a pump station is being constructed to boost the water 750 feet vertically over Trout Creek Pass. The route between Little Annie and Goddard Tunnel has more dips than a roller coaster, and it's just as steep. The last tunnel on the joint delivery system is Goddard, 5,900 feet long and two miles west of the summit of Trout Creek Pass. Homestake water will be over the hill by the time it reaches this stretch east of Goddard Tunnel, having passed the highest pumping point and going to gravity flow under Highway 24 and eastward across South Park. Springs end their joint venture near 11 Mile Reservoir. This section is on the right of way of the 48 inch line which will transport Colorado Springs share 26 miles into the Northfield Reservoir system. The pipeline has its ups and downs and so does the flying machine in crossing Ute Pass and going up the northern flank of that scenic area. A 
final look at the construction area is taken at the east portal of Colorado Springs 1900 foot long rampart tunnel number two. From this tunnel, Colorado Springs share of Homestake water will go into the Northfield system, then through a filter plant and into distribution. Good old famous awesome Pikes Peak was the pioneer watershed for Colorado Springs. It still provides a lot of water from its 14,110 foot slopes and it's America the Beautiful. And the flying machine takes a look at the world famous Garden of the Gods as it heads for home. Another sparkling jewel on the Pikes Peak landscape is the Mesa filter plant, one of several filtration units producing the finest water in the world. Home is the flying machine. The water story has been told. You're right. This is...